Good job, stay on your toes. Abs engage, active arms, active legs. Just getting loose. Up and back, good. Down, lock it out, up. Down, lock it out, up. Go, keep grinding, keep shining. Five more seconds, five. Four, three, two, hold it. Right leg, left leg, and hold. Right leg, left leg, and hold. Come on. Hello, it's Daddy. Hey, darling, put Mommy on the phone. Yeah, Barbara, it's Richie. Yeah, look it, I ain't never coming home no more. Take it easy. What's up, people? Um, coming back at you again. I know I'm, I'm I'm getting a little more busy. I know y'all like that. I like it too, actually. But um, coming at you a little bit more. Uh, I guess pissed off today. I don't look pissed off, but think about this, man. I, I'm hearing that right now people are coming at Dak, coming at Dez, coming at Zeke about breaking quarantine or whatever, right? Let's relax a little bit. I don't like to talk about the virus because it's shutting people down over it, but it's definitely pissing me off because people are starting to abandon their common sense and it's becoming more common. <laughs> common sense ain't common, man. If he's non asymptomatic or if they don't have it, why would they be uh, penalized for working out? Tell me that. If they don't have it. And if they do have it, they would be sitting at home uh, trying to get better if they had it. And I'm not here to argue whether the virus is or isn't, whatever. You know, you want to get into conspiracy theories. Go ahead. I mean, I already know. So I'm not going to get into that on this channel. But what I will say, the people who are dry snitching on each other. I, I went to Amazon and I quit same day. I can't I can't do it. But went there and uh, they'll ask you on the scanner. Hey, uh, is anyone not um, following the social distancing rules? That you know of now you're promoting people doing like shady little backstabby shit and i don't want to be a part of that i don't i won't i'm not that type of person period and i don't mean like hey if you tell somebody to stay in the house if they're sick you're crazy no but if we aren't sick and we're allowing people to tell us what life is sh should be uh shouldn't it be coming from people who are qualified to do so like my neighbors are coming to me saying, hey, stay in the house. Who the fuck are you? What are you talking about? And I don't mean, like like I said, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. But what I'm saying is, Des Bryant, Dak Prescott, and Zeke Elliott working out, whether they're asymptomatic or non-symptomatic because they don't have shit, uh, should not be penalized for trying to live a sane existence in an insane world. The beginning of the poem that I always put in most of my videos is If by Rudyard Kipling. You guys should do yourselves a favor. Go listen to it. If you can keep your head when all around you are losing theirs and blaming it on you and you can trust yourself uh, when all men doubt you, you know, that's the beginning of it. And that's exactly what's being exhibited right now. Like You got to be able to like separate yourself from what the masses uh, or the group think machine is doing, especially during times like this. I don't like to get real preachy. But the only reason I can sit here and look at you guys and talk to you guys and feel uh, confident doing so is because I know whenever I open my mouth, there is nobody battery backing me. And I'm not saying anything for effect, I'm not unless I'm being funny on purpose. Uh, and I'm not saying anything because I feel like it's, you know, the group, our mass uh, think way of doing things, like following the masses. I say what I feel uh, and I have to continue to do that. And because I do that, I have to open the door for other people to be able to disagree with me. I have to because I know in order to speak, I have to risk or run the risk of being offensive to somebody because somebody's not going to like what I say. So in order to have free speech, you can't have it without also having the opening uh, for people to offend each other, but in a respectful way. Intentional, intentional offense is disrespect. Unintentional ignorance and, and, and willful uh, understanding, meaning you truly don't know, but you would like to know. So you run the risk of disrespecting me in order to 
open the door for a conversation to better understand. That's cool. But all this bullshit that we got going on with should you stay in the house, should shouldn't you, so on, we're turning this into a a a a, a world that is more like a police state at this point. And I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna live like that. I'm just not. So for me, I don't want to hear any more of that bullshit about should should you stay in the house, should Des and them stay in the house, should they be working out or not. If they feel like working out, let them work out. Period. There is nothing unhealthy about working out. If you know anything about diseases or about viruses, then you know you know there's nothing wrong with expelling it by working out. Should they go to raves, nightclubs? They're not open. But you're saying, hey, you can't go anywhere to socialize, but you also shouldn't go and exercise and keep yourself sane. But then if they didn't do these things and get chemistry and we started a season on time, which I don't think is going to start on time, then you would say they're bums. Why? Because they don't have any OTAs to do. They don't have any way of keeping themselves sharp for their craft other than going outside and honing their skills. A quarterback can't throw himself the ball. So if you want them, and then Dak is in the middle of a contract dispute at that. So what the fuck do people want? I don't understand. People complain now out of knee jerkism just to do it. And I'm not even, like you guys know, I come at Dak all the time. The reason I stay out of the contract conversation is because it's too much fucking conversation about somebody else's money. I ain't the guy to do that with. I don't do that. Because if somebody was arguing and protesting about how much money I should make on YouTube, guess what I would do? Guess what I would do? I would block you or kick your ass or curse you out because why would you try to block my children's money? Why? Who are you? And I don't bother you. I don't kick, you know, tips out of your face when you're stripping. You know what I'm saying? I don't kick you while you're down. I don't bother nobody but myself. So for those of you who feel that, you know, Dak is disrespectful, you have the right to feel that way. You have the right to be offended. You do. But also remember, they have the right to offend you because that's what this country still is. If it is still a free country, that's what it is. Do they have the right to kill your grandmother, though? No. How could they? How could they do that? Are they coming in contact with your grandmother? No. Do they have the coronavirus? No. Is there a way to test for asymptomatic any virus? No, it's not. So people are lying to you and you're taking that and, and, and then casting those aspersions upon everybody else. Clean your own house. And I don't mean that figurative. I don't mean that literally. I mean it figuratively, but it could be literal too. Clean your own shit. Worry about your own shit, man. And then, then use the things and the successes in that process of discovering who you are and what you'd like to do. Then help somebody else. But if you just listening and repeating, you are a sheep and a robot. And stop, stop fucking up the rest of the world by opening your mouth, man. Because this shouldn't even be news. Dax contract. Should Dax get paid? Yes, because there's something called a market. All right. Let me explain how the market works. This year, we have a, gra a class of quarterbacks that need to be paid. They're going to be paid based on the scale of quarterbacks that were signed two, three years ago, right? Those quarterbacks were signed to contracts where the salary cap was at a different rate than it is now. So as that salary cap improves and it, it balloons up, so does the money allotted to a team to pay players, right? So that means the market, the market is only what people are willing to pay. Do you understand? Teams are willing to pay quarterbacks X this year. So next year, they're willing to pay them X, and that X will be greater than last year. Okay? So when people say, does Dak deserve X dollars? I don't know because I don't know what quarterbacks were paid last year. Now, if I go and look at every quarterback's contract, which you can do a little bit of now, like Carson Wentz and people that are around Dak, it's in line with what average, what the average is for what quarterbacks are getting today. So whether that should, if Dak believes he – should be paid as a number one overall best quarterback in the league or top dollars. So what? That's a mark that'll be set for about a month. And then somebody else will get signed and they'll outdo that contract. It, he who gets signed last gets the most money, basically what I'm saying. Because the market continues to increase because we have an outdo-ism system where you have to outdo the last best contract in order to be the best contract now. That's the way we do the NFL. OK, so stop asking about Dak's contract because he's going to get paid something in in the ballpark of where other quarterbacks are. But he's doing his job negotiating, which he should. What type of person, what type of quarterback do you want who won't fight for his own fucking money? What type of person would you respect 
if they won't fight for what they believe is theirs. What they have the right to believe is theirs. I don't got the right to tell that man he ain't worth that money. Now, do I like Dak as the future? I do now. Yeah, he's getting better. Is he where he needs to be? Has he fulfilled his true potential? No. But the one thing that he has is the will to do so. And I've seen him exhibit that year in, year out. He's gotten better and better. Is he where I want him to be? No. But is he good enough for me to say I can I can sit here and watch a game and understand that Dak can deliver the throws that I would need and want a quarterback to, to deliver on in order to win big games? Yes, he can. Uh, is he crazy enough to put the game on his on on the line and put his body on the line to win games? Yes, he is. All right. Is he uh, cerebral enough to learn from his mistakes, his past mistakes? Yes, he is. Does he have some uh, limitations due to lack of experience, lack of uh, football IQ? He admits himself he he learned defenses from Madden. Yeah. So you got to give him time to learn those things. Do you take a quarterback that's 70 percent of where you want him to be and throw him out the fucking window when he's young and still growing and still winning? No. So shut up with I wanted to say shut the fuck up, but I didn't say it. See, I said shut up. Shut up with all the contract talk about Dak Prescott deserving or not deserving a certain dollar figure. Is he a quarterback that can win on this team is what you should be asking and win with this team. Yes. Can Mike McCarthy make him better? Yes. So let's just sit back and let it happen and stop talking about him going outside and working on his craft because you can't judge it both ways. You can't say you're trash and then don't work on your craft. Stay in the house and get fat and lazy. That would be idiotic and catastrophic. And that would be what you call a loser. That's what a loser would do. And I mean a loser as far as football. We're all in the house. So I don't mean if you're in the house, you're a loser. But if you're in the house not working on yourself when you got nothing else to do, you are so you should do something about that i mean not like we ain't all been there so it's no judgment here just do something about it but that's what i got to say about it man um shout out to des bryant i'm glad des bryant's back doing his thing um I'll, I'll, hit, I'll hit you up on twitter i really do appreciate um the fact that i said this a long time ago i appreciate myself you know i said that des should be back on his team when i say it it's laughable right y'all think i'm a kook still because it's laughable. When I say it, it's like, man, cool, you crazy. But they still like to hear the crazy shit I say. I said Byron Jones should be a corner. Ain't he a corner? Isn't he a good one? All right. I said that uh, um, Cheeto should be in the slot. It looks like we're, we're getting a, a coach that can do that. I said I wanted Mike McCarthy. It looked like we got Mike McCarthy. I said I wanted to go to 3-4. It looks like we're about to do that too. So uh, some of y'all should start listening to me. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to. It's a free country like I just said. But. That's what I would do if it came to uh, the Cowboys or football because I know my shit because I won't say shit unless I've looked my shit up. All right. I verify things before I speak to you. So, uh, like I said, I'm happy Des is doing what he's doing. I thought he always would. And I knew that Jason Garrett and his regime was the reason that Des was no longer welcoming the Cowboys staff. You, you Once he got scapegoated, you couldn't very well co go back and get him for a team that's still coached by a guy he said is, you know, he described as, as being against him and other guys who support him as Garrett's guys. He couldn't bring him back into this locker room and not create a rift. No owner would have done that. So now that Jerry is gone, I mean, not Jerry, Jason is gone. Um, I think we'll have some level of uh, openness in regards to the players that we bring on. We'll have some consistency with the types of players we bring, because I think you had two different philosophies going on. You have Jerry Jones, who will bring in guys like the Alden Smith pickups. That's a Jerry Jones guy. The Michael Urbans, those are Jerry Jones types of guys. Jimmy Johnson, Jerry Jones guys, they're wild card guys that love football. As long as they win, they don't give a fuck. That's a Jerry Jones thing, okay? Because the Cowboys of old, those of you who love the Cowboys, name me one winning Cowboy team that wasn't full of misfits. Not one of them. Even back in the day, you had uh, Hollywood Hendricks and those guys, uh, Wiley and those guys. They were they were nuts, too. Then Russell Maryland, Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin, you know, I ain't going to say what he did. But you already know, they wasn't no joke. Emmett, even Emmett is a nice beast, you know. So we we don't want we don't want water flowers, you know, and lotuses here. This is not that. This ain't that kind of feminine energy. You want to go, you want to find that. You know, read some tarot cards or some shit like that. Or go pray or meditate. You know what I'm saying? Get you some ashwagandha or some shit, man. But I'm just telling you, the 
the way you win is by going after guys who are about winning, period. Okay, but you saw the philosophy switch because Jason Garrett would bring in good guys, guys that he likes. See, the reason Rico Gathers never got a shot, uh, the reason guys who are what you would call hood, uh, real, real, I ain't going to say N-word, real ninjas don't last under Jason Garrett is because he doesn't know how to identify with those people. He don't know how to identify with, with people who are rugged. Jason Garrett is a, he's a intellect. He's an intellectual guy. He likes cerebral players, which is not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. Jason, Jason Witten, great guy. A uh, great player, but he is a Parcells guy. So was Tony Romo. All right. Now let's think about the guys that Jason Garrett likes or or would gravitate to uh, that aren't that weren't brought here by um, Parcells or Jerry Jones. I'll wait. You have guys like I like Sean Lee. Don't get me wrong, but Sean Lee is definitely a Garrett guy. And the reason I say this, let me. I'm not saying this to side with Des. I I love Sean Lee's play, but here's the thing. Ask yourself this question and be honest on any other team. Sean Lee would have never been good. Why? Not because he's not good. See? But because he gets injured every single year. And he would have been out of the league in any other place. Jerry likes him and Jason loved him. So he stayed and he played over guys who probably should have played more because of his his injuries. So we block the development of guys who should step up because we like them. Rico Gathers didn't get on the field. Why? Because we like uh, uh, Jason Witten. Bar Jarwin doesn't get a lot of playing time, even though he makes plays every time he does. Why? Oh, uh, they'll say because he doesn't block. But how many tight ends really can block now? Um, we like him. Show me an Antonio Gates pancake. Show me. Show me. Show me an Antonio Gates uh, impact block. They don't. They don't exist. All right. Show me Ertz pancaking guys. He might do it every once in a while, you know, because the sun shines on the dog's ass every once in a while. And a, and a broken clock is right twice a day. Remember that. All right. So let's let's kind of hang up that shit, man. I think I think it's time to start banding together, especially as fans and as people, even more importantly, because there's too much willful dissension out here. You're allowed to disagree. But to hate each other because you don't agree, that's a game being played on you people. Whether it's in football, politics, race, no matter what it is, it's a game being played on you. The world is what you experience, okay? So you change the way you experience things by changing the things you do and then by changing the way you filter the things that happen to you. That's how you do that, all right? So let's stop the bullshit and the fake knee-jerk concern because I know y'all don't give a fuck. That Dak Prescott went and threw a football to Des Bryant or to Zeke Elliott went outside. Now, if they got arrested for breaking and entering, let's have some conversations. If they slapping hoes and shit, let's have some conversations. If they go into the strip club doing Corona, okay, you want to be mad at that? It's a little immature to do that. Maybe. Unless you're bored. <laughs> but anyway, you get my point. So that's all I got to say on the matter, man. Shout out to everybody out there that's watching. Like I said, y'all gonna get a y'all gonna get a lot of Okoye, so I hope y'all like it. I talk to y'all soon. Remember to uh, support the channel. You have to subscribe or hit the like button. And in the comment section, I would like to see you guys having some real discourse in the comments. I love that because I want to join conversations. I don't want to just say, "Hey, thumbs up, buddy." I don't care about that. Talk to me. I want to talk to you. And I can't give everybody my phone number, so let's talk. You know what I mean? But uh, talk to y'all soon, man. Koye Media out.